Hey guys, it's Oscar. I'm here to do a little Shave of the Day recap, pre-Big Shave West Shave of the Day recap. So real real quick, I want to talk about some of the things I used and just talking about how excited we are to hit the road um, here in a couple hours to Pasadena. We're going to hit the road around noon, get there sometime around 2 in the afternoon, and uh, head over to the shop and try to meet up with who's over there and, and uh, start the shenanigans. Evidently, some of the guys are already there. As far as I know, Peter's there, Douglas is there, Khan got there last night. Um, I know David will be there, Damon, of course. Um, not sure exactly who else is there, but looking forward to seeing everybody there. So, um, of course, in honor of this event, use the inaugural Big Shave West soap, which is now being sold by PAA by Phoenix as Good Vibrations, I believe. So there's the soap and naturally the matching aftershave. And used, uh, the America Patriot Karloff Shave Brush by Brother Rob Phillips, local gent, who will also be there. And the, my timeless scalloped head with the .68. Now the thing with the .68, <clears throat> I had a decent shave. I had originally bought the 9.5. How about the 9.5? It was a little bit kind of aggressive because what I did was I was comparing I really like the Rockwell 6S that I have now I got a hold of all the blade gaps for all the settings for the 6S and I saw that uh, the 9.5 is actually way higher as far as a blade gap than even the 6 than even the highest setting on the 6S now this the 0.68 is actually just under the 5 setting on the 6S. The 5 setting on the 6S is 0 0.69 um, blade gap, and this is a 0 0.68, so I thought it was gonna be semi-aggressive. Now, what I did was, like I said, I bought the 9.5, and I put it out on a couple of the forums that if anybody who had got the 6.8 might have been interested, uh, might be interested on using the 9.5, and then we could do a like a temporary trade just to kind of see if, if, we were, um, if we were happy with our decision. Now, Josh Carnavis, um, answered up and he he sent me his 0.68 and I sent him my 0.95 now what surprised me is how really mild the 68 is um, I've used it a couple times um, with a couple different blades just to see if there was a difference and it is a lot more mild even even comparable to the five on the on the Rockwell um, this is still pretty darn mild so um, I'm probably gonna be getting my 95 back but, um, so I was really excited to get the Rockwell. Um, I only got the head because my original plan was to try to get something to match, to get a handle, a DE handle, to match this Wolf Whiskers that I had. Now, I know not every, not every brush maker um, makes, mixes their own resins and colors and stuff, but the few that I reached out to the few that I reached out to who could do it, wouldn't do it, um, for one reason or another. Um, so what I did was maybe, um, instead of just going after uh, that particular matching handle for this head in order to make it match this brush, I went ahead and started searching out some stainless steel handles. Now, um, I was able to get this Grand Shave King in a raffle, but this Grand Shave King came with this wind rose handle okay. now in a different raffle I was able to get this wind rose handle wind rose um, there's an Etsy page that called wind rose excuse me makes stainless, a bunch of stainless steel handles really great work but this handle actually is a little bit more of a dull finish of a matte finish and I got since I got the the shiny head I needed a shiny handle, so I switched the handles from that Shave King onto this Timeless. So that's how I ended up here. So anyway, i um, really glad I pulled the trigger. The Timeless is awesome. Everything I've heard about it is 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 awesome until, and you really don't know until you use it. And I wasn't crazy about any of the handles on the Timeless um, that Timeless offers. Part of it was the different lengths. Um, the lengths were a little longer than I would want. And then, I mean, although the designs are pretty intricate and, and and attractive, none of them really jumped out at me. So that's why I ended up only getting, only getting the base plate and the top cap. 
So that was the razor I used today. Um, so that was pretty much it. I just wanted to touch base um, on what I used today and mainly just excited about heading up to Pasadena, representing again from the first Big Shea West t-shirt. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing everybody. We'll be heading out of here in a couple of hours, like I said. Um, we're going to pick up Michael, get him ready to go, and then we will hit the road. So if you're going to be there, awesome. Can't wait to see you. If you're not going to be there, what the hell's wrong with you? Peace. Bye.